communities in rural and regional Australia. Now it's time to pass on the baton. Helen Haynes is an excellent candidate and she's ready to go. Helen's a nurse and a midwife. She's an acknowledged leader in her community. There is huge respect for her integrity, ethics and values. She's tough and she's strong. And I know she will take the battle to Canberra. We know the main political parties are going to throw everything at Indi. And I say, bring it on. When I was elected, I promised to give the people of Indi a choice. And I'm really looking forward to having a battle around politics, around policy and about representation. And to those who want to engage in this really important part of democracy, I say, sign up to your party. I say, turn up to your party. And I say, speak up about the things that are important. For today and the next five months, Australia is listening to Indi. And for me, tomorrow, I'm going to meet the Prime Minister and I'm going to talk to him about what needs to happen for rural and regional Australia and in particular for this really important city, one community, two cities of Albury-Wodonga, seeking his support for a regional deal which will bring the Commonwealth, state and local government together so that we can really reach our potential as a community. Thank you. Why is the timing right now? Mm. So the timing is right now because the right person has put their hand up to, with confidence and conviction, she's been supported by the community and the community have said, we're ready for the changeover. And I'm always one to respect my community. I've said I'm open for the timing of this, but clearly the timing is right and Helen's the right candidate. When did you come to that decision? Was it after Helen was selected on Saturday or had you come to that decision? So clearly I've been thinking about when the timing is right. Is it this election or the next election? And yesterday I rang around my colleagues on the crossbench. I spoke to the Prime Minister, I spoke to the Leader of Opposition and had conversations with them. And they thanked me for the work I've done. They wished Helen well. Um, and they said we're going to have a very fierce competition in Indi. So that really did uh, coalesce for me that the timing is right to give the people of Indi a choice again against good candidates and I hope good policy. Can uh, Helen retain the seat, Cathy? Oh, I have every I I have every belief that the people of Indi will rise to this, that they will find in Helen the characteristics they need and more. And I think something else will happen. I think we'll actually raise the debate of political um, contesting because we've already seen Steve Martin pre-selected for. Uh, the Liberal Party. We're waiting to see what the National Party do, but I hope they bring a high-profile women to the to the debate. And then not only Helen, but the community of Indi can say, here's what we want from our representatives. And I absolutely know they want effective delivery of services, such that I'm promising for Albury Wodonga. They want more mobile phone towers. They want the train fixed up. But they want someone who'll engage with the community and be their representative. I think across Australia we've heard so much that the parties are putting parties first. But what we do here in Indi is we put the community first and we don't pay party politics. We do what's best for our community. And hearing Helen speak on Saturday and the support she won from the community, I absolutely know she's got that. Now that's probably enough. Wait, Should I pass on to you? Would you like to see Bridget McKenzie race in Indi? I, I, don't have a, I don't have a preference of who runs. I think we've done our job of giving the people a choice and now it's up to the party to put their best foot forward. But it, I know it will be a fierce debate. Um, I've met with um, the Liberal Party candidate and I know he's up for it. Um, the Labor Party candidate is certainly up for it. So who knows what the National Party will do. But that's probably enough from me and I'm very happy now to pass over to Helen and give her her first chance meeting the media contingent of Albury Wodonga, North East Victoria and Southern New South Wales. <laughs> Please make her welcome. Well, how lovely to meet you all today. Thank you so very much for coming out in such numbers. First of all, I want to really thank the 200 people who came out in such numbers on Saturday in Benalla. 
people who were really willing to take a brave decision to do something completely different in Australian politics. And that is to, to use their intuition and their knowledge and the love they have in their hearts for this community to, to try to discern a person who is able to go forth with the work that Cathy McGowan has, has started so, so powerfully in this community and in the Australian nation, actually. And that's around a community independent, an orange community independent. So I wear this orange today with enormous pride, enormous gratitude to all of those supporters and I'm absolutely aware of the responsibility that that holds. And I've been made aware of that responsibility because I've watched the leadership of Cathy McGowan. So if you're looking for someone in life to lead you, to give you some direction, you couldn't find someone much better than this woman here. She has such integrity, such honesty, such commitment to purpose, such commitment to the local community, but with a national gaze. And that's what I plan to do too. I received this baton from Cathy with absolute strength in my hands and passion in my heart and love for the community that I've lived in for 30 plus years. As you know, I'm a nurse and a midwife and a rural health academic. And all of those skills I bring to the job. I bring power of my heart. I bring the conviction of everything I've learnt from the rural communities that I've lived in since my childhood. And I bring, I bring my mind and my intelligence to this because Australia, at no other time in history do I think we need intelligent women, we need rural women, we need people from the communities to speak up and say, Canberra, we want better than what we're seeing. And that's what I want to bring to this. I really do want to lift the debate. I absolutely do. And I really look forward to having that. Well, not even having the debate so much, having the conversations, having the discussions, having them in a really respectful way that gets beyond a headline, that actually engages in what's going on and helps us collectively to move forward into a better Australia. That's what I'm after. But what I'm after is a better Indi, because this is my home and this is your home. We know what an amazing place it is. I am so excited by the possibilities in Indi. Absolutely committed to them. Indi has given me everything, everything in my adult life, really. So, you know, I'm here to give that back too, to take it with me and to take you with me.